Hello everyone. I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm really grateful that you're listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate your support. And in this one, I wanted to speak to you about uh, an attitude that INFJs have that in a lot of cases kills their motivation to try anything new, to do anything new, to, to succeed, to reach their goals, to essentially be successful in any way that is, you know, that is appealing to them or is necessary to them or that, that they want to achieve. Um, actually, the thing, the reason I started thinking about this is because I, actually, I do this to myself quite often, or I did it to myself quite often until I realized I was doing it and then I stopped. Um, so I wanted you all to be aware of it as well as INFJs that this is something that you probably do without even thinking about it. And if you could just become more aware of it, you could probably stop this self-sabotaging behavior. And uh, the basic attitude is of believing that it's all or nothing. Maybe I've done a video on this in the past. I actually don't remember because I do a lot of videos on INFJ stuff. But I think this is such an important topic that even if I have done one, I need to revisit this idea because I have grown a little bit and I've become wiser, <laughs> hopefully. Um, and uh, I have learned quite a bit about this, this ridiculous attitude that I have in the world of believing that it's either I achieve it entirely, exactly as I want it to be, completely and fully as my vision was for this particular item, or I don't do anything about it at all. It is ridiculously silly to think that those are the two options, the only two options that are available, available to you when you want to do something. And you know, you probably can think of this as in terms of fitness. This is an attitude a lot of people have, especially dieters. Um, you know, they'll be like, okay, I, if I even make one mistake, if I eat ice cream even once during my whole entire diet, that means the entire diet is ruined. I'm gonna gain back all of my different pounds that I lost or I'm gonna ruin everything that I've done for the entire last six months by this one little ice cream that I ate. So I should just give up and just give up on the whole idea and I should just, you know, start eating as normal as I do. And I don't just do this in every single aspect of our life, not only just dieting or fitness or, um, or school, but everything in work in achieving our goals in wanting to live life in a certain, certain way in fitness as well. And anything that we want to achieve, we have this idea that if I don't, if we don't achieve it perfectly, absolutely in the way that we've imagined it, it has to be exactly perfect. If it's not like that, that means either that we haven't achieved anything at all and we should just give up or that we should just give up because <laughs> what's the point, right? And kind of noticing this in my own life because my the way I've achieved my success if you want to call it in YouTube is not exactly ideal if you want to call it it's not exactly what I imagined when I first started with, uh, with YouTube you know when I first started you know I, I just wanted to do videos and I did them and then I, I looked at other people and I was like oh they're actually really successful and have lots of subscribers maybe that's what I should be aspiring towards and so I started moving towards that goal and little by little I realized that it's per perhaps impossible for me to get to that goal because I, I don't have the motivation or I just don't want to I just want to do videos and I just love doing videos and I just want to do them without the, the added pressure of wanting to achieve uh, thousands and thousands of subscribers because then I have to appeal to what appeals to the crowd which is what in a lot of cases what I don't want to talk about anyways right but in my head I'm thinking oh but if I don't if I don't have thousands of subscribers it means I'm a complete failure as a youtuber or I have failed in my goal of what I wanted to achieve from YouTube Do you know what I'm saying um, of course that's not the case I have achieved success with YouTube in the way that I want to achieve it it's not the way if you say I imagined it when I first started it's not the way that I imagined it when I was into it five years ago um, but it is there it is a, a kind of success if you want to look at another example in my life, um, this, this comes up a lot in my head. So the way I live as a digital nomad is exactly, well, it's, it's very opposite or very different from a lot of different people who live as digital nomads. A lot of digital nomads, what they do is they constantly move around. So they might stay in a place for a couple of months, perhaps, maybe even just a couple of weeks, and then they'll move on to the next place. And then there they stay for another two weeks and they move on. And they're constantly moving around. That's the whole idea, nomad, right? Digital nomad. Whereas I'm not really a nomad, I would say. Um, when I first started, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to explore, I wanted to see lots of different places. 
and then I came to Thailand and I loved it so much I stayed for four or five years and then I went to Bali and I, st I loved th it there so much so I stayed there for two three years and now I'm thinking about moving to my next place hopefully I love it there and I'll stay there for a few years but that's not really that's a very slow mad way of doing it I'm not really moving a lot I'm staying in places for years to experience the culture to really immerse myself in it as much as possible and then I'm moving on to the next place again it's not done ideally it's not done exactly the way everyone else is doing it it's not if you want to look at like when I first started become when I first became a nomad the idea I had in my head it is not how what how I'm doing it right now right so you could consider it a kind of a fail but that is the all or nothing attitude that I really want to get away from it's not that I mean as you all know there are lots of grays in between the digital nomad that is portrayed by the media and the slow mad that I'm doing and then there's lots of grays in between as well lots of different people doing different things while they're digital nomadic so many different ways of being a nomad of being a digital nomad right so digital nomad doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do things a certain way and if you don't do it that way you're not a nomad right like that kind of all of all or nothing black and white thinking is what is pulling us back it's what's killing our motivation because if you think about it if you don't achieve things exactly the way you imagine in your head and you're going to fail at it before you even started then why would anyone bother doing anything at all and in a lot of cases, INFJs have this thing. We are perfectionists. You know, we want to do things perfectly. And because we want to do things perfectly and we know we're not going to do things perfectly, and even before we start, we know we're not going to do things perfectly, we end up not doing things at all. We don't end up trying things. We don't end up doing things badly we, because we just want to be perfectionists. And I know because I've been in that situation so many times, even with the small things. For example, uh, when I first started getting back into basketball, I was horrible, terrible. I was, oh my gosh, it was like watching a comedy show when I was dribbling a ball. And I'm still like that, by, by the way. But if I had looked at it and, and said, oh, well, this is not what I imagined how I'd be playing basketball, I thought, I thought I'd be much cooler. <laughs> I was not cool. Um, but, you know, so I did it that way badly. And then I was like, oh my gosh, should I even bother keeping on going with it? But the whole point was not to be perfect, but to try the whole thing about playing basketball just to try it just to be a player as bad as I was for those few minutes right and so if I had thought oh either I'm a great basketball player perfect absolutely perfect or I am no basketball player at all if I just had those two extreme viewpoints then I would really not try anything at all right with anything it could be basketball it could be badminton it could be any kind of sports it could be starting a new business it could be uh, starting a new diet it could be starting a new uh, job whatever it might be right like there's so many different things where you could look at it oh if I'm not gonna be perfect I'm not gonna try at all that kind of all-or-nothing attitude really I feel is the reason why INFJs despite being so smart so talented in so many different ways are not as successful it's because of this attitude it's killing our motivation to do anything it's killing our our, our drive to achieve things because we think that if we're not going to achieve it perfectly, why bother at all? Why should I even start? No, no point in it at all. But the point is <laughs> to start and to understand that things are going to change as you move forward. When I first began my digital nomad journey, I thought I would do certain things. I didn't, but I tried some other things and I really liked it. And, and then I, I modified those and I really liked that. And then keep, I kept on going with it. And now I'm living my nomad life in a way that works perfectly for me as an individual, as an INFJ, as a person who wants to do things a certain way that suits her, right? And you, as an individual, as an INFJ, when you begin, if you begin a nomad journey or whatever journey you begin, you're going to do it in your own way, in your own unique fashion that suits you, that your personality, your way of doing things. And that'll look very different probably or slightly different from the person next to you who's trying the same thing, right? And that's the whole point of this. I mean, forget that the point isn't the destination, it's the journey. Why do we constantly keep on forgetting? It's not the end point that, oh, great, I'm going to keep on playing and I'm going to become a great basketball player or mediocre basketball player. <laughs> that's not the point. The point is to play, is to have fun, is to dribble, it's to... to uh, 
I don't even know the terms, <laughs> to, to shoot the ball, you know, to do all those things. I just want to be in the moment. I just want to do those things very poorly, but do them so that I can be in that moment. I can try it. I can feel the joy of it, right? And so I really want to share this with you because I don't know about you, but I do, I've done this to myself a lot where I've sabotaged myself because I thought, oh, no, oh, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not perfect at this. Obviously, I'm terrible at this. I'm not going to even try. I, there's no point. And I started so many things, and the first day I did it, I was horrible, obviously. And instantaneously, I was like, I, 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 I negated it. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm terrible at this. I'm never going to try it again. So many things I tried and started and was horrible at, and I just gave it up. And so I really want to share this with you, especially with the younger Anna, just to make you realize that, yes, of course you're going to be horrible at the things when you first start. Everyone is terrible at it. Uh, unless you're talented at it, which is not the point. Talented people are maybe 1% of the population. That's not the point of the situation. The point is to try, it's to do it, it's to play, to have fun with it, and eventually perhaps become better at it. Perhaps not, you know, you don't know what the future holds. That's not the point. The point is to realize that the whole point is to do, to, to play, to do the thing as imperfectly as possible and to have fun with it. And eventually maybe you'll become great at it. Maybe you won't. Nowadays, when I do a YouTube video, I am, it's, it's very easy for me. I remember the first time I did it, I was terrible at it. But if I had stopped at that moment, the first video, that was really, really bad, I wouldn't be here right now. And in so many different ways, this applies to me and applies to you. So please, please give up this all or nothing attitude, this black and white thinking. And we do that in relationships as well, which I'll talk about maybe in another video. But it's not just that, oh, you have a perfect, perfect awesome, perfect relationship where you never fight or you have, a, have no relationship at all. That is not how it works. This all or nothing thinking has to stop. Really, it has to stop right now, right now. Um, and so please let me know how you think about this. Uh, have you noticed this in yourself? You know, how does it affect you negatively or positively? Um, I'd love to hear your stories. And again, thank you for listening, for being on my channel. I shall see you the next time around. Bye for now.